Hi everybody, it's Dionbe back with Hair Me Roar. Today I'm going to be doing individuals on my head using the rubber band method. But here is the catch. Um, so I am living part-time in the Bahamas and part-time in the States. I packed a whole bunch of stuff, um, but because of the move, I didn't get to bring everything that I needed. So with doing individuals, I'm using the Bobby Boss Jumbo Braid. Um, I just got like 10 packs of this and I want to do shoulder length so I'm going to cut it in half so I probably didn't need 10 packs but rather safe than sorry. So anyway, here is my dilemma. Okay, so with natural hair and connecting on hair, unless you braid it really tightly, um, you're going to have your curly hair kind of like pop out of the braid. And I didn't bring um, any heat protectant so even if I wanted to, blow dry my hair a little bit. I didn't even bring heat protectant, so that's a no. Um, I didn't have a chance to bring gel and I figured I'd buy some out here, but um, I haven't made it to the store and I just wanna get my hair done. So, gel is out. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to braid tightly. But uh, like I said, so I'm gonna use the Bobby Boss hair. Um, I have my oils for moisture since my hair will be up. I bought this um, Cream of Nature with argan oil moisture rich hair butter so for to lock in the moisture from the oil of course your classic rubber bands um clips gator clip combs and here's what i'm going to use at the end kind of do like a uh, design those little the hair accessories and then i got some of these little guys I'm gonna put them on a couple of uh, my braids. So with that being said, um, stay tuned and I will show you how I kind of do the rubber band method and how I like interlock the hair. So keep watching guys. All right, so here I am taking my hair. I split it in half. I take the ends of each half and I begin to feather it so that when I overlap the two, you don't have those blunt ends sticking out that you'll have to go back in and trim later on. I realized this once I got to the end, um, so I did have to go back and trim quite a few braids because I did the interlocking method um, during some of them in the back. That's before like I really got my groove and started uh, getting a tight grip. So I just used my hair as a third leg about halfway down. I split the hairs to continue the braid, got to the end, finished it off with a rubber band, and voila! Okay guys, so now we're back. We're all done braiding and I'm going to cut the hair to about shoulder length. I am encountering a slight problem though because on some of these I'm seeing that my natural hair braids down all the way to where I cut it. Now I'm being very careful because I do not want to cut my hair. However, I wanted, like I said, I wanted like a bob length right at the shoulders, um, but that might not happen because my hair might be a little too long at certain points and I am not cutting my hair. So, I'm just doing it like a couple braids at a time and just trying to match it up, uh, check where my hair is, and then braid down. So I put, if you can see, rubber bands right at the end. I braid it down and put rubber bands to stop the unraveling. And I will braid down where I need to, to match the length of the other braids, cut that off, and then we'll go from there with accessorizing. Let's get to it. The rest of this process was basically just cleaning up what I had already done. So I just threw the braids in there. Now I wanted to go back through and retighten certain braids, measure it against my shoulder, see where I wanted to make that cut, put the rubber band on and, you know, a quick snip. And I didn't have a mirror, so I was just kind of doing this by sight. And I probably will go through and, you know, do some quick cuts and cleanups as is necessary along the way. I think it was looking pretty good, though. 
once I got to the end, these were the last few braids. I was kind of playing around seeing where I wanted it to lay, where I wanted to make that cut, and having to rebraid some as well. As you can see, I'm taking that rubber band off because I wanted to braid it down a little further to make sure that it was braided all the way because once you make that cut, you make that cut, it's done. And uh, just kind of playing around with it, seeing if it worked for what I needed it to work for. It did, give it a snip, and yeah, it's kind of checking my work. Now, you see those blunt ends I was talking about earlier? I had to go back through and cut those after carefully inspecting to make sure I didn't cut my own hair. Here is the finished product. Tell me what you guys think. Like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for the next installment. Thanks, guys.